Hey, what's up? It's your boy, Burv. And I'm back again, baby. Back again with another epic vintage toy hunt adventure. And today I'm tag teaming this vintage toy hunt with my buddy Clutch. His name's Patrick. I call him Clutch because he's always coming in clutch for me. When I can't find things, old Clutch finds them and shoots me a text and says, Hey, Burf, I know you're looking for this. You can find it at XYZ, wherever. So he's always coming in clutch. And today we're actually headed to Sherman, Texas. This is probably the longest toy hunt video I've ever posted. It's over an hour. But we hit up some uh, some thrift stores that I don't normally ever hit up. Uh, it's been a while. It's been a couple of years since I've hit up any stores in Sherman. So we hit up a Goody Wheel and some other local uh, thrift stores. And, and I can't believe this, guys, but I actually found something pretty epic. Now, it was a little beat, okay? No, not a little beat. It was really beat, but you just never, ever, ever find silver hawks in the wild. And I found one. Wait until you see which one I found. This is going to be an awesome episode. So, hey, let's keep our fingers crossed and let's pray, 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 pray that those vintage thrift store gods are good to me today. My name is Burf and this is my turf. I'm straight out of the thrift store. Got my buddy Clutch with me today. Oh, Patrick. Oh, Patrick Bartle. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, Patrick and I are uh, hitting up Sherman, Texas today. So a few weeks back, he was like, dude, if you ever want to go to Sherman, hunt a little toys, let me know. So here we are. Um, but yeah, so we're, we're going to head in here today. We've got a few thrift stores. You you ever had any luck up here? Uh, every once in a while. I don't get up here too often. So yeah, for your older community, got to gotta be something more than yeah yeah so we're gonna hit this up there's uh, another place there's a place here called merry-go-round as well we might try and see they're never open but we'll see if they're open but we got some uh we got a fun day ahead of us so you ready to do this man let's do all it. all right let's get outside man let's do it let's hey goody wheel gang if you're in the goody wheel gang rise up because we're you're about to join us in the anthem <laughs> here we go man on three one two Three. What, what you, you got, got for me today, today Goody Will? Will? What, what you, you got, got for me today? today? <laughs> All right. Let's keep our fingers crossed and pray, 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 pray that those vintage thrift store gods are good to us today. Let's see. Now, the last time, I think the toys were back that way. So, Nicole told me to um, keep an eye out for paintings. So, she wants like a uh, a scene that maybe has like a lake or a pond in it not like a giant painting like something mm -hmm. kind of small because uh she's all into this frog called pepe okay if you've ever seen pepe the frog he's like mm -hmm. a meme but it's like a cryptocurrency thing that she's in but uh she wants to take the scene on the on the, the painting and she wants to put like paint she wants to paint a pepe on oh, it right, right, and right, then right. paint some others she's like i've seen some people do it on youtube yeah, and i want to a couple of those channels i've seen They're yeah amazing stuff yeah so she wants to you know we'll keep an eye out today for something like that Definitely too have to watch yeah hey look it's a red pepe <laughs> let's see what do we oh what do we got over here we got a we got a gauntlet. All right, looks like we got some plush over here. What's this? Oh, I got some old soldiers in there, dude. Like that's a that's an older figure. Mm -hmm. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna buy the bag for three bucks, but <laughs> it's definitely got some older military guys in it. What's this right here? Supermarket. Uh, they got a lot of plush. Not a whole lot of. Not a whole lot of like toy toys. Well, it's like a little gingerbread house or something. Yeah, tons of plush. <laughs> Let's see, maybe we'll get 
lucky with some vintage puzzles or something or a game. What's this thing here? Trivia Adventure. It's an old game. We got the Brady Bunch. Did you watch the Brady Bunch when you were a kid? Never a Brady Bunch fan. You didn't watch the Brady Bunch? Nah, uh, the girls were always too whiny. <laughs> Marsha, Marsha, Marsha. Let's see what we got here. Biblical scene. The global puzzle. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, it's an old puzzle. An old Milton Bradley puzzle. 1,500 pieces. Super yeah. challenge. The super challenge puzzle. 279 at Target. Oh, wow. That's good. We're asking for it. Oh, at least it's less than what it was originally. <laughs> that's a, that, you don't see that too often. Oh, here you go. What's this one? The 1980s card set for use with Master. What is it? Uh, trivia trivia pursuit. pursuit questions. Oh, very cool. An expansion pack. This is, this is like Daniel and the Lion's Den. Oh, yeah, it is. It's Daniel and the Lion's Den. Michigan Rummy. Michigan Rummy. I've never played that. Have you played that? Never played that. Let's see. We got some puzzles over here. P for pizza. Giant floor puzzle. It's kind of like Noah's Ark, but school bus fashion. What's this? Oh, dude, look at this old Scrabble game. I know you're not a big fan of uh, diecast, but... Oh, those are diecast? Yeah, that bag's heavy. Are they really? Really? <laughs> I don't see a price on the bag. Oh, yeah. It's kind of heavy, isn't it? Yeah. Maybe there's one or two plastic ones. In oh, yeah, look at this one here. Diecast. Right. Let's see if I can open it up here. Oh yeah, dude. That is heavy. That's die cast. That's like a mixture of it's like a half track or something. It's like a mixture of die cast and plastic. This is a straight plastic one. This one here. Oh that's die cast too, man. And then that's another plastic one. And let's see. One's plastic, but that's cool. That's what I thought. Dinky toys. Dinky toys. These are from Europe. Oh, okay. Cool. Well, maybe we'll get the bag cheap. That one's missing its tracks, but that's. Yeah, this one's missing one tread. That one has both of them. Yeah. Dinky that's toys. I'm going to look these up. I'm going to see if they're worth anything. British. Yeah. Patrick was just saying. These are all British die cast. I like that one. I like the color of that one. All right, I think I'm gonna grab this bag, man. We buy it, dude. We can each take a tank home. <laughs> <laughs> what do we got down here? Any bags of goodies? Uh, it looks like bags of junk. Oh, what's this uh, SpongeBob thing here? Oh, it's like a table hockey table hockey game dude is that the nfl one open can you open that up it's tape oh it's shut. tape shut well actually let's do this yeah yeah pull that shit off <laughs> there's one of those i just saw okay this is backgammon. like backgammon i uh, that lady that we met this morning that i dropped the stuff mm -hmm. off with um at my yard sale i had a briefcase like that but it, it was from the 1980s but it was, it was a it was edition. a football edition yeah Really cool. What do we got here? We got these things called headliners. Hockey edition, I guess. Oh, that's a cool. Cool flyer. What is this? Beat the boss. November 6th. November 2nd, 6 to 9. Master Key Ministries. Very cool. We're currently waiting in limbo so uh the bag didn't have a price on it normally at goodwill they just slap a price on it but at this particular location they can't sell it unless it has a price on it but the kind lady did say 
I've got some friends in the back who might be able to pull it off for you. Fingers crossed. Fingers crossed. Cause like uh, she said that the manager's here, but they would just tell us we can't sell it to you. So hopefully, hopefully she hooks us up. All right. Well, the good news is that she put a price on it. The bad news is that it was a bad price. They're actually, I mean, they're probably worth more than this, but it's not something I want to pay. It was $14.99? Yeah, 15 bucks. 15 bucks because they're metal, is what she said. So, but anyway, so busted, man. We got busted, Patrick, at the Goody Wheel. That's not a bust. It's just a, not a find. <laughs> there you go. I like that. It's not a bust. It's just not a find. <laughs> All right. Well, we're going to plug in our maps here and see if we can find another place. So wherever we end up, we'll see you there. All right. So, uh, what, did, what was this place called? Uh, Riverside, I think. Yeah, Riverside. Was it Riverside? <laughs> I can't remember. Anyway, this place has a name. <laughs> but we're at uh, we're at the thrift store, baby. Oh, look, they're opening the garage door. Four That's Rivers awesome. Outreach Thrift. Four Rivers Outreach Thrift. That's where we're at, and uh, they're just opening. We're here bright and early. All right. Well, let's see. What can we find in here, man? I like these kinds of places. You know? <laughs> Things are just kind of laid out. Yeah, lots of light bulbs. Let's see if we can find some toys. Oh, look, is that another? Oh, look at that. That's like a big box to tube TV. Mm -hmm. It's got like television. It's a wall mount. That's funny. And then we got this. What's this thing? That's an old camera. Oh, it's a camera. Oh, wow. Yeah, that's a Polaroid Yeah, camera. it's like an old Polaroid. It's a slip up. Yeah. Should be a slip up. Oh, that's where you put your, your film. <laughs> That'll be the thumbnail. <laughs> I know, right? Those old cameras can go for quite a bit of money. They had some uh, Polaroids at Goodwill. A couple of Polaroids. There's a whole World War II set, huh? War of the Battle of Russia. Okay. I'll probably pass on that, but that's kind of cool. I know you're into the VHS. Yeah. But uh, they had uh, Polaroids at Goodwill for uh, 25 bucks and 30 bucks wow. is what they were trying to sell them for. Oh, here's some cassette tapes. Mickey Gilly. I don't, know. I don't think I've ever heard a Mickey Gilly song. <laughs> do you know Mickey Gilly? I do. I know Mickey Gilly. <laughs> got some Bruce Springsteen. I've got that one already. The Oak Ridge Boys. Hey, they say that at these videos, looks like there's some video games in here. There's like a NCAA... 14 or 15 I think that's worth like 100 bucks if you ever come across it oh here's some records we got some Disney Lady and the Tramp Alice in Wonderland actually that's an entire Benji set Benji and Love book oh, records oh it even has the uh, oh, that came out of a set yeah it even has the box for it Wonder how much they're asking for. It looks like a dollar a record. Three little pigs. Interesting. It's like the US mail, it just keeps coming. Right. <laughs> right. It just never stops. Yeah. What's this thing? Is this some sort of transformer thing? What is oh that's like a bumblebee whatever. Oh yeah. What's this over here? Carol book. Huh. It's for singing Christmas carols. I don't know, Bert. I think at this location we might get skunked. It's <laughs> a good one. See this thing? Yeah, look at that dude. Awesome. Didn't you have a couple of those? Uh, 
Not this one. No, not that one, but a couple of them. I know it's an old McDonald's toy. Yeah. And, uh, That's Gujira. like a, Yeah, look at that. That is cool. All right, I'm gonna grab these guys. I love McDonald's toys and stuff. Is that supposed to be another Godzilla? Uh, Reptar from Rugrats. Reptar from Rugrats. You're so smart, dude. <laughs> Garfield. 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 That is cool. There's a Dino lined oh, up. Yeah. It's a little box of goodness over there. Got some. Who's this right here? I wonder. I don't know that one. That's no, from I Land got... Before Time. Oh, yeah. Is some sort of transformer? Yeah. Oh, wow. That's an older one, too. Yeah, that is awesome. Um, Maleficent. Raven. Oh, okay. There's a Lisa Simpson. Little Rose Pet Shop. Looks like his mic mouth might be kind of busted up too. What's this? Whataburger comics. Oh. Oh, it's a it's a Whataburger puzzle. Oh, that's awesome. Pull that. Pull my finger. <laughs> okay, I wasn't sure if it was gonna. Yeah, it's a spin. 
let's see if there is. Where's these things? Other one. Oh, yeah. Got a little pile going over here. There's an old turkey. Um. these check out this fishing game tackle box oh, by radica bass fishing ultimate bass fishing oh that's neat what's this stop motion explosion complete animation kit comes with a camera and everything i wonder what they want for that it's from uh, oh it's from 2015 that looked like it was so much older. What you got there? Mini television. A mini television. Like the one that um, and it has an arm on it. Oh yeah. Oh, it's like an old, an old flat screen, huh? Yeah. That's cool. All right. So that's two thrift stores down. Technically, we could have scored twice. It's just that we didn't want to pay the price. Yeah. Like, not at that. But we found a good hit here. Yeah, so. yeah. So we got On to the next. got some goodies. We'll do some show and tell later. For right now, we're gonna find another thrift store. All right, my friends, we are here. So we're at a place called Touch of Class. A touch of a right. A touch of Class Antique Mall. So Patrick uh, Clutch, oh, Clutch put in toy stores in Sherman, and this place popped up. So maybe they got some vintage toys for us. You know you're in country Texas <laughs> when this is the store display. Where did he go? All right, so we figured out he is a core action figure. He is not G.I. Joe. Oh, look, they got VHS. There's Meatloaf, <laughs> Bat Out of Hell. <laughs> Total Recall. That's track of the Vampire Nightmare Castle. Interesting titles. Here's some Scooby-Doo VHS. Wonder how much they're asking for their VHS. Flintstone. Oh, is that a cartoon Flintstone? Oh, hell yeah. Flintstone's wacky invention. What do they want for that? Oh, four bucks. All right. I think I'll get that for four dollars. Let's see. What is it? Attack of... Attack of the Mousers. Interesting. Find something up there? Could never go wrong with eleven spoonful. <laughs> I've never heard of them. <laughs> um what was their big song? Let's see. Summer in the city, day Summer in the City. Summer in the I have to I'd have to hear it, I think. Yeah, Summer in the City. Let's see, what's this one right here? Sudden impact. Bugs Bunny. Down here, change of habit, GI Blues. Oh, it's got Elvis Presley in it. Let's see. All right, I'm definitely gonna pick this one up. And uh, this one right here is kind of a possibility, but I don't know. I don't really care for that that version of the turtles oh warren yeah all right i'm gonna grab that too any other good ones up there you saw there's a bruce springsteen tunnel yeah. of love got dwight yoakam <laughs> yeah there's a lot of country in there yeah and what we got over here we got some 12 inch action figures we've got a dragon up above check out this robot I was more looking at the vintage Power uh, Ranger. The the with oh the one up above here, the Black Ranger, yeah. Did you find a Spidey? Oh dude, I have him. Except he actually has ropes that come out, right? And the little buttons in the back, it caught he throws the rope, you know. Oh, nice! Yeah, he's really cool, but that one doesn't have the rope. 
What are they asking for him? Twelve dollars. Twelve dollars. The Andrew Garfield Spider Man. Mm -hmm. What's that? So you had Tobey Maguire is considered your Sam Raimi Spider Man. Okay. Sam Raimi directed it. Okay. When they revamped it and came with the Amazing Spider Man, those two three movies were done by Andrew Garfield, oh. who played Peter Parker in Spider Man. I which see. Is, that's his costume. Oh, I see. And then the current one done by what's the kid's name? Um. Toby Maguire? Not Toby. Uh, the Tom uh, Holland. Tom Holland. Yes. That's the new current Spider Man. Okay, gotcha. Star Wars sets. Yeah, what's this like Yu Gi Oh? Never, never really watched any of that. That anime stuff. Raiders, Indiana Jones, Last Crusade, The Final Frontier. Let's see. Bugs Bunny. I was just looking to see if they had any other cartoons. Any cool ones like from the, you know, stuff we grew up on. Western set looks interesting. Which one? Oh, this one right here. Oh, yeah. Hey, it's our boy Buzz. Not just thrift stores, he's everywhere. Antique malls, flea markets. Oh, look at these Smurf plates over here. Merry Christmas, 1983. That's cool. If it wasn't 25 bucks, if it was like 15 bucks, I'd probably buy that. But what are these guys? Hell Knight? Revenant and Archfall. They're uh, characters out of the Doom. Oh, series. okay. Got some baseball starting lineup. Oh, that wall clock is cool. Oh, yeah, some vintage ponies. Like they've got four of them. You know, my uh, my grandmother, when I was a kid, one year, okay, uh, we were, it was around my birthday, and she came over to the house and she had a gift for me and my brother. Every time they would buy birthday, they'd always buy for both of us, mm -hmm. you know. Um, anyway, she gave me a My Little Pony for my birthday, and I remember I was like, I was so embarrassed and I was like upset that like <laughs> she got me that and I remember my mom had a yard sale that following summer and I put it out at the yard sale and one of my friends from school showed up at the yard sale I was probably like nine or mm -hmm. ten at the time and I just remember like thinking my whole world was going to collapse because like he pony. was he was going to see that I had a my little pony on the table but he didn't even notice it. <laughs> oh, here's the other ones. Football. Yeah, we got lots of like sports cards and stuff. And here we got sports action figures. Diecast. There's a bunch of Power of the Force figures. I never cared for Power of the Force. Where'd you see those at? Oh, hey, check out these uh, Spider-Man cards, dude. Those are pretty awesome. Uh, they're yeah, kind of like they're this, like on a foil or something. Yeah, they're foil cards. I think I remember the series those were on. He had like his own standalone series for oh, a while. Okay. And that each. Um, because the pages hold nine cards each, and it was actually made one large picture once you got all nine cards. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, let's see. Virgin Comics, here's your 12-inch Joes. Yeah, we were just talking about 12-inch Joes earlier in the car. There's that whole series. Okay. And then those are the Star Wars over here. Let's see who we got. Retro edition Boba Fett with the rocket fire. Oh, that's cool. What's he going for that? 50 bucks. 50 bucks. Is that about what it's worth? or? I have no idea. Yeah. I just remember they originally 
when they first did these, they came out with a rocket fire Boba Fett that was mail away. Mm-hmm. And there were only like five of them ever made. Yeah, because like some kid choked on it. Because kids something. were choking on rockets out of a Battlestar Galactic set, so they figured it's too much of a liability. And yeah. Canceled it. X-Files, all that alien is creepy cool. And we got some Halo figures. Hey, what's this down here? Oh, that's just whack-a-mole. I, <laughs> I thought it said Popeye on it for a second. Rick Trevino, Nelson. Nelson. Clint Black, Ice House. Oh, look at these. oh here's some vintage. Oh, wow. Some vintage with some mo more modern mixed in. Model kit. Oh, wow. Yeah, I actually saw somebody, I think, uh, selling that same thing on Facebook Marketplace for like 70 bucks or something. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it looks like there's really only a handful of vintage Star Wars in here. What'd you find? Ah, uh, the monsters. Edition, but it's a model kit. Oh, wow. They're both Dragula and the Coffin Racer. Sweet. Oh, uranium glass, yeah. Clutch was saying his girlfriend likes the uh, uranium glass because it glows in the dark. Blue that is that's a blue light they got on that, huh? Yeah, black light. That's beautiful. Oh, what's this over here? Son of Kong. Super eight movie. Oh wow. Oh, those are the old school eight millimeter. Yeah. Son of Kong, that is awesome. We went for that twenty bucks. bunch of games over here. That's old. Oh yeah, look at that Daffy Duck. Oh yeah, that's an older Daffy Duck. Yeah, 1973. Wow. And we got this one with the penguin on it. That's neat too. Let's see. Shelley Duvall's bedtime stories. Got some Disney over here. Looks like we got a bin of comic books. Superman. What's this? Uh, one of these it's the death of Superman. What's that? Didn't you find one of these rat rod M&Ms up at the thrift store recently? I, I, not recently. Um, I have found that before in the past. Um, the one I found recently was the Statue of Liberty. Right, I remember that yeah. one. Yeah. Death of Superman. Ambush bug? You ever heard of ambush bug? No. Me either. I, can't say. I know, like the, the DC universe and more. Like they have so many like just weird figures. That's a cool. Oops. Can I can I get it? It's a cool cover. Batman. Twenty cents. Twenty cents. I know. Yeah, a lot of Superman in there. Just checking to see if uh, they had anything like different. Oh, I like that too. How much was this one? Was uh, sixty cents? Yeah, because it's a hundred page. Oh, that's why. Got this Land of the Lost book. You don't see that too often. Wonder how much these things are. 
Uh, seven dollars. Yeah, I don't think I want to pay seven bucks for that. Clutch was just pointing this out. Somebody had painted this all blue. Ruined it. Got Ken driving around in his pink Jeep and about to pick Barbie up. Got this little troll wanting to hitch a ride. Oh, look at these uh, me, spinning whistles. You're okay. Sunglasses. Oh, it's a Darth Vader cookie jar. Oh, look at all these Tootsie cars. I like that yellow one. What do they want for that? Ten bucks? Did you see the uh, water rocket? I didn't. The what? The old school water rocket. Oh, look at that. That is really neat. phone i saw one at grace bridge they only wanted 75 for it and then they had like a half off day where you could get it half off i should have probably bought it this one's going for 150. <laughs> that's Finish old man yeah 55. Oh, and he still got his plug oh and he still has the plug wow you don't see that that is pretty rare what is that oh it's an old wine. I guess it's supposed to be a reindeer and Santa. That is really old. Oh, look at that one. Old push toy. Yeah. Look at this Mr. Machine back here. That one is from 1992. Look at this little Disney castle. Press for some. Bravo! Bravo! Wow, look at these old lunch boxes. Animal crackers. <clears throat> You're looking at lunch boxes over there too? Oh yeah, let's see what you got there. <clears throat> a little better shape. That one would be oh, yeah, the Muppet Show. Vintage Muppet Show. Mickey Mouse. Got some Disney Express. And what is that, heads and tails? Oh, it's a cheese it lunchbox. Yeah. That's different. I wonder why. I, yeah, I, I don't think a kid would want that. School, <laughs> let me, yeah, let me see that Batman real quick. Let me get a little better look at it. Oh, it's a newer one. And what's that back there? Is that a Disney? Oh, it's like uh, Magic, Magic Kingdom. Magic Kingdom. Heads and tails when they came out. It was different shaped animal crackers and had heads and bodies in it. And oh, so you'd play with your food and make all new animals. Oh, okay. Oh, an Adam 12 thermos. Adam 12 thermos. Oh, that's a heavy one, too, dude. 45 bucks. Boom. It would only be better if it was TJ Hooker. <laughs> Authentic Native American music. Oh, here we go. Oh, okay, thank you. Yeah, that's a newer lunchbox. It's not a vintage mm. one. But look at this down here. Blazing saddles in the box. 
Why is he on home? I wonder if that's a VHS. It's not VHS. Yeah, WCI home video. It's interesting. It says VHS on the box. It does? Huh. Yeah, up here on top. Interesting. Oh, look at these guys. I didn't even see R2 and 3PO there. Oh, no, Lady J. Very cool. Do you uh, do you read the comics? I haven't read them in a long time. Yeah. Cat fight, man. Wow. Any other? Oh, there's a Mad. Old Mad magazines. Yeah, pull those out. I want to take a look at this. Let's see here. Tootsie. Super special. Salutes the automobile industry. Oh, this looks like a fun one. Super special. What do they want for eight dollars? Academy Awards. Oh yeah. President Reagan. <laughs> cool. It's not really a knife, that's just some sort of weapon. <laughs> oh, here's a battle beast. I want for him. Is it the moose? No, I haven't seen this one before. He's got like a little. Oh, it's a. That's a swordfish. Or swordfish. A... No, it's weird that he's got a round circle in the middle. Hmm. No, the originals, they were square. Yeah, I think they want like three, four bucks for them. That's not bad. Yeah, I'm gonna pick that up. Here's a uh, Barney Rubble car, $8. Holy cow. And then we got Captain Crunch. What are they asking for him? Six ninety five. The Battle Beast is the least expensive Jeez, one. Yeah. Up. I thought he'd be the most. And then we got old Pete. Mickey meets the giant. Thumper's little sister and road to reading. Look at these old Disney. It's like a teething ring or something like that. Oh, somebody's selling records. Lots and lots of records. Oh, there's an ACDC, Rush. Poison. Where's it at? Uh, the skull. Oh, yeah. Top. I see it. Yeah. Oh, here's some vintage lunch boxes. Weed Pals, Kid Power. I never heard of Weed Pals. You ever heard of, heard of no. Weed Pals? I mean, that's completely new to me. Yeah. Early West. What's this one? Apple's Red. Oh no, never heard of very obscure. They're like Western themed or something. Western train. Yeah. Oh, what is it? Like anti racism. Because mm. if you look at it, you've got a black girl, a white girl, a black kid, an Asian kid. Oh, Nobody right. knows. Women's lib. Yeah. Like What's it say? Book. We're going to have a big parade. Sybil and I will be the majorettes. Oliver will lead the band. Jerry will be the drummer. George on flute. Wellington on guitar. What about me, Connie? You're not in it, Nipper. We need you to watch it. Okay. <laughs> yeah, lots of diversity there. The thermos? Oh, it has the thermos? It's just... Yellow. Yeah, what's it? I was looking to see if there was a year on it. Wow. Oh, yeah. Keep your thermos safe. Keep it from sliding around. Well, you don't want it to roll around and crush your sandwich. <laughs> hey, is that uh, Sophia Loren? It looks 
motorcycle. I'm on fire. What's that, a Pittsburgh Steelers? Steelers bear. <laughs> They're not doing so good this year. Oh, here's a McDonald's plate. <coughs> With birdie. Oh yeah, like the blow mold candles. Mm -hmm. this is Timmy the Timid Ghost, is that like a predecessor to Casper the Friendly Ghost? Or that may be like DC's version of Casper. Mmm. Spooky. That's like uh, Casper's uh, cousin or something like that. Right. Oh, genius. Sad sack. Christmas Carol. Blondie. That used to be one of my favorite Sunday comics. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Dagwood got himself a hot piece of ace. <laughs> <laughs> timid, you know, it's Timmy the Timid Ghost. Never heard of that. So this place actually has three floors. And we're now on the third floor. This one's old. Yeah. Oh, look at this thing somebody made. It's a tire and they put like all these Hot Wheels the around it. What's this back here? I see Lee Marvin back here. Then turn them loose on the Nazis. Let's see if I gotta get back there some way. Oh, wow, look Another at him. Bag. Yeah, he's cool. Let's see, what is this? The Dirty Dozen. Is that, a, is, that, is that an original or is that just a reprint? I think that's a reproduction. Yeah. Kind of neat. Oh wow, look at that. Yeah. That's wild. Cigarette branded cassette. <laughs> right? The Hollies, Don Williams, Eddie Rabbit, Stevie Nicks. I'm finding some cool stuff in there. Survivor, the doors. How much is he asking for his tapes? Looks like price is very per cassette. Five ninety nine. That's a good album. The doors are. I think it has a lot of their essentials on it. When I see you. Barbara Streisand. Jerky Boys. You remember the Jerky Boys? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh my God. Jerky Boys and Jerky Boys Two. Let's pull this one out. Ronnie Millsap. Linda Ronstadt, Trisha Yearwood. I'm, I'm not really a country fan. Are you a country music fan? I like country music. I like the 90s. Yeah, you know, right. I grew yeah. up listening to my dad, dad, and he always listened to the Outlaws, the Highwaymen, that type, kind of style. Yeah. That always stuck. So 90s growing up, that's what I listened to. Right. It was kind of the modern edition of Outlaws. Look at this guy, he's about to, about to get fried. Mm -hmm. Texas Capital Punishment. Dude, look at that old like photo booth thingy. That old camera. That is old cell, 40% off. That, like belong, it belongs in a museum. All this time and we finally got to some real vintage. these guys out 80 bucks for that dude man that little green guy right there on the left mm -hmm. 80 dollars for him 50 for the other i like that uh that robot looking dude in the back with the orange and green oh there's a six million dollar man 
find some GI Joe. Got some vintage Smurfs. Oh yeah, check out the monkey. You got Voltron. The the cars and trucks were actually the first Voltron. Oh really? It was the one released third in the states. Hmm. I didn't know that. Got the Lion Voltron, the original down there. Who's that dude? You know who that guy is? The which one? Uh, Bionic. Oh, he's Bionic Six. The uh, the guy, the human void looking thing there. Not one hundred percent familiar with it. Oh, there's a GoBot. Thirty for him. Here's another Bionic Six diecast. And there's a Vol. That Voltron's nice. So you're saying that was the first Voltron. Right, the cars and trucks and helicopters. But third release. first Voltron, but it was released third in the States. Oh, wow. Oh, wow, look at this guy. And who's, GoBot power armor. That's a GoBot? Yeah, so each piece is power armor for a GoBot. Oh, okay. So they'd wear each piece, and you put them all together, and you'd have one giant. Wow. Oh. I didn't know that one existed, actually. Mm -hmm. I wonder how much they're asking for this. I actually have this thing at the house. Uh, oh, only five bucks. <laughs> it's not worth crap. That sounds about right. Stuff I buy isn't worth anything. Squad. Yeah, I've got that one actually. Found them in the thrift store. Oh, I got some He Man over here. Some busted up He Man. And then. Did you see the Shogun in the case? Oh, yeah, look at the Shoguns. I've got this guy right here. I made a big mistake with mine, Clutch. I ended up, uh, I had found this guy in a thrift store. Mm -hmm. And um, he was real dirty, and it was before I realized like alcohol removes like paint, like. <laughs> right. And I had taken some alcohol and started oh, no. to rub, and I rubbed all the paint. Well, initially I just rubbed like a big smudge, like a big line on them, but it looked so ugly. I just ended up removing the rest of it. Right. <laughs> There's a Millennium Falcon. Yeah, that's a shallow one. Yeah, a shell of one, exactly. Oh, there's an Optimus Prime. What's that? 20 bucks. Hey, do you know who this uh, guy, this white, white Transformer is? On the motorcycle? It's probably one of the Protector Bots. Okay. As for an actual character name, I don't go off the top of my head. I think that's getting into like uh, second season of Transformers. Okay. You had this as a kid? Mm -hmm. Does it have a figure that comes with it? No. But these were one of those things that were like free with every fill up at Texco. No way. Yeah. Oh, here's a Mork and Mindy. Color form set, and then uh, what is this? The Mad Magazine game. Oh, that's awesome! How much are they asking for this? Twenty bucks. I don't think I want to pay twenty bucks, but I might pay ten for a Mad Magazine game. Let me see. Oh, did you? Yeah. Oh, no way. Yeah. It's kind of, oops, kind of like Monopoly. Just has these little game pieces. It looks actually pretty complete. The dice, I don't think it works. Okay. Seems fun. Here's like a Hot Wheels 
carrying case, I guess, huh? It's an old one. And what do we got here? We got some, what are these figures? Oh yeah, look at that. Man, that is in rough shape. Yeah. Oh, look at this guy. Oh, he's like a knockoff, man. He's a real cheap plastic. All right, so that place had some cool stuff in it. Um, definitely some possibilities on maybe another trip, just not right now. Clutch was taking a smoke break. <laughs> so, but I uh, did pick up the Flintstones and the Battle Beasts. And again, we'll do a little show and tell. Plus, uh, don't forget, he uh, still has some stuff that he picked up for me at the McKinney Trade Days. They still call it Trade Days, by the way. Third Monday Trade Days. Yeah, Third Monday Trade Days. I'll need to get out there for a video. I've never shot a video there. I didn't even know they were still doing it because they had moved. Yeah, they moved location. to South Fork for a while and then they restarted it. Yeah. So, well, we're going to try hitting up one more store. So I don't know where that's going to be yet, but wherever it is, we'll see you there. All right, so we're at this place called the Merry-Go-Ground. I've only been here one time. It was freaking awesome. They just I was telling Clutch they've got like just piles of shit everywhere and it's awesome to dig through it. But uh, I've been here maybe four or five other times since and they have been closed every single time. So we're kind of hoping. Hopefully. Fingers, fingers crossed, crossed, right? So, all right, guys, let's check it out. Hey, it's open. It's open. What are you going to let? Did I see a full toy out? Yeah. He's missing his head. I think it's a power oh, ring. He's missing his head. <laughs> yeah, see? But see, you get to dig through stuff. You get to dig through stuff. All right, well, uh, we'll take a walk inside. Maybe we can find some goodies. Oh, my God. Look at that. <laughs> that is awesome. Oh, dude, look at that thing there forever. I didn't mean to scare you. <laughs> look at that blue thing. What is that? Is that like a stormtrooper? Somebody paint that? Yeah, that looks like a first order stormtrooper. Yeah. Somebody painted. Hello, how are you? Oh, look at comic books. Let me know if I can help you. Okay, I will. Thank you. What are these, like patches? Old yeah. army patches. Mold tea. Oh, we see. got some stinking patches. You got some stinking patches. Oh, wow. Grayson County Constable. Oh, wow. Uh, that little raccoon thing. <laughs> oh, nice. Even better. Negotiable Saturday. That's a Chuck Norris figure. Yeah. Also just had the power range for next two weeks. Who's this guy? Oh, he's really unique looking though. That is different. Oh, I'm grab, I'm gonna grab this guy. Oh, look at those little cars. Now the last time I was here, they had piles and piles of Mad Magazine. Oh, look at this. Little hot dog stand. I know, dude. It's like everywhere. <laughs> It'd take like hours. Before yeah, it really would. There's probably all kinds of stuff just hidden in here, dude. Just buried. Uh huh. Bag of cassette tapes. What's this thing back here? Some sort of box. Certainly kills mosquitoes. Gymnast Barbie. And we've got Barbie and Kelly. Is there anything back here? <laughs> There's a bunch of things back here. <laughs> Look at this place. It's awesome. Like I said, I mean, there could be anything buried back under there. A VHS cam. Oh, yeah. Look at that. The handy cam, the full size. Yeah. Here's some VHS. Jane Eyre. All quiet on the Western Front. From 1958. Oh, wow. There's some Conan. 
Spider-Man and Hercules. Oh, look at all these old Wheaties weedy, boxes. Well, there's all kinds of boxes here. Frosted Flakes, Wheaties. What's this one? Raisin Bran. Oh, Raisin Bran with the California Raisins. Oh, that. Oh, look, free stuff. Yeah, you, you could mail off for a free raisin with proofs of purchase. Yeah, I don't think they'll send it to you anymore. No. You finding anything back in there? Oh, here's the eight tracks you were just talking about. I'd like to get an eight track player. That would be fun. I don't know if they even make those. Yeah, I mean, I'd have to buy it off eBay, like a retro one or something. You'd probably have to buy like a tuner and amplifier and speakers. To do all that, yeah. <laughs> Did you see all these old Sprite bottles back here? No. Look at these things, man. Mm. There's some old RC Cola. Still has the Cola in it. What do got here? I think I saw Mighty Mouse. Oh, look at that Mighty Mouse, dude. Look how old that it's is. Like, what, early 60s, late 50s. Yeah. Yeah, that is an old, old Mighty Mouse. If it didn't have this tape on it, I'd probably buy it. Holiday Classics. Porky Pig. Got a microscope kit. What's this right here? A little bag of stuff. That dog looks familiar. Oh, yeah. The pull string's going. I remember that. I didn't, I didn't have that version of it, but I had one like that. Mine had, like, the ca the sheep and the cow and the pig and stuff right. on it. Oh, look at this Mickey Mouse. one John Wayne. oh yeah I, I i've actually got that for my brother he was real into firefighting stuff right. i found it oh the little mcdonald's transformer meat piece of meat You just told your friend you can't go up because you're busy. Ready to get real about your psoriasis, plaques and pain, stressing and scratching. It's time to stop hiding. And get the it must be like Goldilocks and the Three Bears. Oh yeah, it is. Is that the Lone Ranger? Oh yeah, that's old, dude. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah, a little advertising piece. I've never heard of Marita either. It's just Sears Robux. It's just like one of their first. Oh, wow. It's like one of the first. Look at that. Fall 1909. Wow. No, I don't know if it's a reproduction. Uh, 1979. Yeah. But that look, that used to be the Sears catalog. That's funny. Bear in Mind Showcase Series. We got some more Barbies. What's that? Did that go to a flash for yeah, a camera? It's a camera flash. We were in Star Wars. Uh huh. It was a camera flash handle. Oh, no way. Really? Oh yeah, look at this thing. Oh yeah, dude, that is really fragile. I almost feel like I have to save it. <laughs> yeah, it's got a little crack in it. But that is, yeah, I'm gonna get that. That's really fragile, man. Oh, that's a different Polaroid. kind of camera. That's a Polaroid too. Mm -hmm. Say that's a different kind of camera. What do we 
got down here? What's this thing? Uh, just some heads and maybe some body parts. Yeah. You know what's funny? I think I have this exact same turtle, the same pose and everything on a yo-yo. <laughs> I do. I would like, be surprised. Yeah. Oh, look at that Pepsi thing. Oh, what is it? Like a, a coin bank. Oh, it's a coin bank. How much does the sticker say on that? 15. 15. Oh, a little old car phone. Oh yeah, dude. Looks like one I used to have. <laughs> I used to have a bag phone. I had it for a month. My first bill was like 350 uh, bucks and yeah, no way. poor college student, you know? Oh, there's a Peanuts mug, dude. <sighs> oh, wow. That is neat. Yeah, those are uranium glass. That is uranium glass? Yeah. It's a VHS. Oh, yeah. Oh, grab that for me. I think I'm gonna... It looks interesting. Got some old trains. Oh, what's that right there? Hi, cat. What is it? Oh, yeah, that's a cat. Hey, what's up, cat? Hmm. Oh, we got some little toys over here. Oh, that dude's kind of interesting. Oh my gosh, I think I see a bluegrass from Silverhawks. But he is really beat. He's real beat. I don't know. I mean, I'll take him if I get a good enough deal on him. I saw some, right? I think I saw like an Ewok accessory, maybe. Oh no. I thought that went to the Ewok treehouse for a second. What do we got back in here? Are there any other silver hawks? Pinocchio. Dude, you know what this reminds me of? Kind of reminds me of the E.T. finger. <laughs> you know what I'm talking about? <laughs> the, the band one. Oh, what's this back here? Yeah. Somebody's helmet. There's some vintage trolls. Oh, yeah. They kind of look like they got Cabbage Patch Kid faces. This looks so familiar and I can't place it. Oh, yeah. But it's I know got the... Uh... Oh, yeah. It probably had a little dude that sat down in there, too. Maybe. I think I want to get this just because it's so... There's three different. of them. Oh, there's three of them? Where do yeah. you see the others? No, they're all in that one. Oh, oh there's three of them. Oh, those are cool. All right. Good call on that. I thought it was one long finger. Put that down there. Let's see. It's like a golden barrel. It's a ninja oh, oh, yeah. Those are like those little Dollar Tree ninjas. Yeah. Patrick just spotted this guy. He was sitting up in here. I think it's a LCD screen on his face. It's yeah. cracked. It's still a cool looking figure. Yeah, still real cool. Yeah, I've got maybe four or five of these types of figures at the house. Yeah, I'll pick him up. Check out this uh, True Smoke Dune Buggy Carrier. And then we got this plane. What's back down in there? Anything? Uh, just some cars. Think about that. Oh, what's this? That's pretty cool. What is this? Oh, oh yeah, no he way! Did. Oh, he's the real deal. <laughs> oh, that's super <laughs> cool. Really you can buy him brand new online for thirty dollars delivered. Really? Yeah, I've already little... checked it. But it never, nobody used because they didn't fold it down or nothing. It's just it, somebody had yeah, it. Yeah, and you know? want 10 for that? No, no, yeah, one side says, in case you have problems, you need help, please call, call police. police. <laughs> <laughs> Good luck on that one. Right. <laughs> but that's what it is. So how about for everything here, 20 bucks? 
I think I think that's a fair deal. Like twenty dollars. Awesome. Oh yeah, I'm sorry. Oh my bad. Uh, these things here were. Oh, oh, okay. And then this here. Did you include okay, that? So, in... Yeah, that was part of that. Okay, okay so good. Twenty good. bucks there. Okay, and what did James have on that guy? It know? had twenty bucks on it, but it's ten bucks if you want it. And okay. It's super old. So. Okay, so how about we're twenty, thirty, five? Okay. Um. And three booger pickers. And three booger pickers. Would you do 30? Yes. Sure. Okay. Yes. You know right. it. Right, yes. Let's do 30. Do you want to pay cash charge? or? Uh, uh, I just have a card. Is oh, that'll right? work. All right. So I just uh, dropped $30 on <laughs> junk. <laughs> yeah, well, like I usually do. So uh, we're going to wrap things Some up, man. Some interesting things. Yeah. What would you think of that place? It's taken about three days to go through that place. It really could, man. It's like every, I mean, who knows what's buried under there? I mean. There's no telling. Yeah, I mean, there could be something. True. Maybe the original owner's buried. True. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> All right, gang. Well, let's head back to the bunker and do a little show and tell. Hey, actually, before we head back to the bunker, I forgot. Uh, Clutch has some stuff he picked up for me at the McKinney Trade Days. What we got? I didn't know if you had him or not, but... I'll tell you a funny story about it. Soft head Murdoch. Yes. Pass up. So, you know, I just had a yard sale. Mm -hmm. And what was funny is I had, a, I had a double of him. And I was like, I didn't really want to get rid of him. But I was <laughs> like, eh, what the heck? I just put him in the yard sale. That lady we met this morning, yep. she ended up buying him. So, and then the very next day is when you sent me the picture of this. And I was like, dude, it was just meant for me to have doubles. So, yeah, dude, I love it, man. I'm actually, I, I really didn't want to get rid of the other one, but... Now I have an excuse to tell Nicole, but, but Clutch got it for me. <laughs> so then that's the... Oh, cool. That you said just you wanted. Yeah, like I the said, I've never... Crash test on these cats. Never had those. I didn't even know those existed. This one, if you want it, it's yours. Oh, dude, that's awesome. It's a 90... He's rough. Oh. But it is a 90s... Spider-Man. Spider is that a... Uh, Super Toy Biz? No, he was the wall crawling spider. Oh, okay, gotcha. Dude, yeah, dude, but I love it. Somebody took the suction cups off his hands. So. Oh, yeah, I see that. Yeah, dude, I'll take it, dude. Yeah, that's awesome. Sweet, brother. Yep. Man, what an awesome time. I had so much fun just going through the antique mall and the different the thrift stores and the, the merry-go-round place that I got to rummage through, like get my hands dirty a little bit, you know, it's just awesome. Like it's such a great feeling and man, Clutch, thank you for going with me, man. I had an awesome time. We'll have to do it again real soon here. So I've definitely picked up some things today. Let's do a little show and tell. All right, let's see. Oh yeah, you can kind of see them a little bit there. Now, when this guy was brand new, if I remember, I think the sparks like shot really far out of his mouth. So the flint inside is probably wore down a little bit. But yeah, how cool is that? I got a wind up Godzilla toy. I love, I love wind up toys. And this one just takes the cake. I think he's probably my favorite wind up as of right now. I don't have any Godzilla wind ups. He walks really slow though. Let's see here. Let's get him to stop. There we go. On with the show. So I ended up getting this Ronald McDonald. It looks like he's on some sort of like lunar lander, uh, like a lunar land rover sort of thing that's got a satellite dish attached to it. We got this right here, this little cutie. Uh, this is from, uh, what was that? Land Before Time, I think. Uh, so it's a wind up toy from that. I got like these monster fingers back here. It's funny, I actually thought it was just one big finger because they were all like, kind of like, when I first picked them up, they were stacked like this. So I thought it was one giant finger. Turns out, whoops, it was three of them. Watch, watch me knock everything over. <laughs> so, um, so we got that. I ended up picking up uh, some Silverhawks. So I got Bluegrass. How crazy is that? Now he is like super, super beat, but I actually feel very proud of myself for having saved him from the evil clutches of the thrift store. So I picked him up at the merry-go-round and was really surprised to see a Silverhawks in the wild. You just never see them. I've never seen one in a thrift store. So even though he's like really beat, I think it's really cool 
that I found them. And what I'm going to end up doing with them is I am going to customize them since he is so beat. So, you know, we'll do some new metallic, you know, maybe give him a different color of metallic paint, touch his nose up there a little bit or repaint his face and whatnot. Got to get his mohawk here taken care of too. It's got a ton of paint wear. So again, this guy's not in the best shape, but I'm, I'm going to make him look really cool. I got the Frisbee which I do have a Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtle yo-yo that is exactly like this Frisbee. It looks exactly like it. Um, so I picked it up just because of that so I could have the two of them. Uh, it does have a couple of cracks in it, but you know, again, I saved it from the thrift store. If it had stayed there any longer, I'm sure it would probably end up destroyed. So I ended up getting some voice comm. Uh, these action figures, I have quite a few of these now, maybe like six or seven, I think, at this point. Uh, the voice comm is a, it's a little known line from the 80s, but it takes batteries and like their face, you know, they can push these buttons and they talk and their face, you know, their mouths move and stuff like that. They got like these digital faces. I don't know what he's got on there. Some sort of black spot. Must be something wrong with the, uh, with the screen. It might, like a, uh, Maybe the screen has some water damage or something. I, I have no idea. I got this thing. Who remembers these things? So, yeah, actually, let's see if I can do it with one hand while looking through the camera. Yeah, so, well, you get the idea. <laughs> so you hit the ball, it pops up, and you got to catch it and stuff like that. So I used to have these types of toys when I was a kid. I got this Whataburger Comics. Um, I ended up uh, getting... Uh, Murdoch from the A team. So my buddy Clutch again picked him up, I believe, at the McKinney trade days. So thank you, Clutch, for that. I actually had some extra accessories that I ended up putting on him. So those are A team accessories. If you're wondering, like, hey, you didn't have those accessories when he gave them to you at his house, it's like, yeah, well, they didn't. He didn't, but I ended up putting some accessories on him. So we got him. We got Dino. We got this little wind-up mouse. Uh, we got the mom from Dinosaurs, uh, the TV show. I picked up these two figures right here, these little uh, little Indian boy and girl, because, uh, you know, that type of stuff, like, they're trying to erase, like, that part of history for some reason, you know? They don't want, uh, you know, just like they, they took the Land of Lakes lady off the off the off the box you know i feel i feel like they're trying to erase history so you know i'm gonna pick those types of things up every time and anytime i see them um just to help preserve some of that history and then we've got garfield over here which i thought was really cool in his hockey outfit we got this transformer i'm assuming he's some sort of mickey d's toy as well um but kind of neat this is back whenever they used to make good mickey d's toys <laughs> We got this vintage Mickey Mouse wind up. And then I got these boxes here yeah, because they had these California Raisins promotions on them. And like, check this out. Like, these are like a couple of watches that you can mail in your proofs of purchase for. So you had that. And then also this one over here. And you could actually mail away for some figures. Some of the figures I actually have, uh, I have... Uh, Let's see. I've got this girl on the end and I've got the drummer. I don't have the two in the middle, but these were obviously mail aways. And I've got a couple of those in my collection. I didn't realize they were mail aways. And then I got, uh, you know, you've got the t-shirt, some sunglasses. I don't know what these little things are. Um, and then like some door hangers and whatnot. I just think it's fun. You know, I wish cereals would do this type of stuff again. Comment below. In the comments below, tell me, bring back bring back cereal toys. That's what I want you to comment with. Bring back cereal toys if you would love to see cereal companies bring back toys, whether it's a toy in the box or just something fun that you can mail away for like this. I think it's awesome. So you just don't you just don't see that anymore. So I got that and then uh, I picked this up. This is actually like one of those sun visors to help like, you know, keep your car cool during the summer. So I ended up picking up this sun visor and then I ended up picking up this guy. I have no idea who he is, but he's super cool. His body is made out of die cast. He has like this third eye thing going on. I sent some photos of him to a few close friends of mine and nobody could identify him. So we have no clue. If any of you watching this know what line of toys he was from or what his name is, please comment below. I would greatly 
appreciate it. But this guy is just badass, man. And I love that I actually own him now. So even though I, I don't, I don't know if he has any value whatsoever. I just think he's super cool, but I also think he's really rare because I've never seen anything like it. So again, comment below if you know who he is. And then last but certainly not least, I got this Battle Beast Spark Shark. Now, here's the crazy thing. This guy, I, I bought this dude for $3.95 and I looked him up on eBay. And in this condition, in this condition without his weapon, he recently sold for $35, so I got a steal. That was the deal of the day right there. Now, if he had his weapon, he recently sold for $75 with his weapon. So he's just going to go into my Battle Beast collection. I have a very small Battle Beast collection. I think I have four, so he would actually make my fifth. But man, I am just super stoked to own this. So... That is my haul from today's adventure. So again, I know there weren't any grails involved and no, oh my God moments, but I felt like I got some cool stuff and it made me happy. I hope it made you happy too. So hey, if you enjoyed watching this content as much as I enjoyed making it for you, do me a favor, smash the like button. It helps me out. It helps my channel grow. Also, if you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. I got a lot more great content coming your way. And tons of videos, like over 900 that you can start binge watching right now, starting with this next video. I know you're going to love it.